G'day, this is Vineet, and I've just recorded a quick win that shows you how to allow special characters in a username. Let me show you what that means. So here we are in AVP, and I've already got the application running. So let's log in. I'm going to log in as admin and using the default password. Here we go. I'm logged in properly. And uh, let's go into identity management and let's go into users. And let's try and add another user. And in the username, we will actually type in Peter O with a little um, quote, single quote, Neil. Well, the Irish people have quotes in their names. So um, they may want to use quotes in their uh, username. So um, let's um, just uh, fill this out like Peter O'Neill password. Let's give it a password and let's give it an e email address. And uh, what we'll do is we'll say save and You'll notice that we get an error because the username Peter O'Neill is invalid, can only contain letters or digits. So we want to allow special characters in the username. So uh, let me just pause the video, enable the setting and show you how that works then. Okay, so I've just enabled the setting. Let me now show you that we can now accept usernames with special characters. So let's add in Peter O'Neill um, and we'll call Peter, surname will be O'Neill, give it a password, email, and we will now save. And you'll see that we won't get the error anymore and the username accepts the um, um, special character. And in fact, I've also included in the setting that uh, it can accept not only alpha, uh, alphabets and new and digits but it can also uh, do dash dot underscore at sign the plus sign so um, uh, there you have it i've just recorded this quick win it's available on learnabpframework.com and uh, you need to be a premium member to be able to access uh, this uh, quick win. So uh, head on over there and join. Thanks for watching, guys.